Welcome back to today's program here on the Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Wu Rig Wu, where we'll continue our conversation with Ms. Fu Jun and also Mr. Warren Chow from both, you know, both from Taiwan National University to talk about their experiences in conducting and participating in international student affairs. Let me ask you both. Yeah. You're both uh, students or uh, one-time students from National Taiwan University. I believe, Warren, you finished both your undergraduate and also your graduate, graduate degrees. Yes for National Taiwan University, and then uh, Fu Xuan currently is an undergraduate, mm -hmm. and you're about to become a senior, is that correct? Um, I'm a senior, I'm going to be a graduate. graduate. Yeah. Okay, good, congratulations. But I know that both of you have been participating in a number of extracurricular activities at NTU. Mm -hmm. Can you then share with us some of the experiences that you've had in, in you know, student affairs yeah. and also in international activities. Maybe we can start off with Warren. Okay, yes. Um, so uh, besides GIS Taiwan, yes. we also, like my friend and I also initiated this uh, idea, idea 2007. project. Yes. Yeah, that was in 2007. It's also held by National Taiwan University. Good. And it's a culture exchange program aiming to uh, discover, the, like, discover the cultural difference of each other and discover sure. Taiwan. Okay. Also, I joined um, some other um, org, uh, activities okay. in the world, like a World Business Dialogue in Cologne University in okay. Germany, right. and also the like American Language and Culture program mm -hmm. organized by Stanford University in the States. Yes. And in this conference, one main thing that I learned a lot, I benefit a lot, is to uh, see the different value, different culture from each other. Okay. You see how um, how the other university student live their life in the world, okay. in the other part of the world. And, and you kind of discover that there is actually no limit of, and no rule of how you should have your career. Okay. And then you flash back, uh, reflect back to yourself to think about um, what your passion really is okay. and what are, what, what, which dream are you going to pursue. Okay. And it also gives you more, uh, more confident to fit in the international context. Okay, yeah. but based on what you just said, Warren, you seem to have participated in different kinds of international activities. Yes. What was the criteria you used in making the selection that, hey, this is the program that I want to go to, right. and this is not the program I want to go to? Mm -hmm. what, what were some of the factors that you okay. would consider? Um, of course, uh, one main thing is to see how this program was evaluated before. Okay, all right. So there's a, like the Germany, uh, the, the, the German conference that I just mentioned, it has yes. already been held for more than 20 years. Okay. And there, I also know one, um, one conference called St. Gallen Symposium in, in, in Switzerland. It has been held for four years. Okay. And also the other index is to see who will come to this conference. Okay. How many, how, how much the, the diversity is, okay. and also see who is going to talk in this conference. Okay. All of these are very important. Okay. And, very, and the most important thing is that to evaluate how much dialogue you will have in this conference. Mm -hmm. I like to go to a program conference which you can have a lot of talk with each other, okay. to mingle around with each other. Okay. That is the most important thing in the conference. Okay. Now let's turn over to the Fu Xuan. And Fu Xuan, you are also participating in a number of international activities. Mm -hmm. And what were some of the more memorable ones? And what were some of the factors, as you know, Warren just mentioned, that you will use in making your selection that this is the program I want to participate in, and this is not the program that I want to pursue? Mm -hmm. um, I have participated in the Model United Nations. Okay, good. Yes, and I, I was uh, go to I went to the the one in uh, Switzerland in two thousand and seven. Okay. And over there we have like two thousand participants over there, okay. and you will see people from different country, of and course. people will play the role of different country, which is yes. really really interesting. Mm -hmm. And also, I have um, another uh, like summer camp uh, mm -hmm. called AEARU, okay. uh, which is held in Taiwan, but will be held um, in different uh, university around the East Asia. Uh -huh. And we will have people come here, uh, come uh, to certain university to um, have the exchange of cultures. We will introduce the hot, what is the features of Taiwanese uh, cultures, okay. and. Um, to let them know that we are very different. Okay. And the uh, elements that I select, the uh, activity I want to participate is, um, I will see how famous the um, 
activity is. Okay. And also I'm enjoying to have fun with different people, like people mm. with different cultural backgrounds. Okay. Yeah, and you can know a lot of um, issues they concern about in different uh, countries and also yes. in different majors, which is very, very important for us to embrace the um, global world. Okay. And Warren just earlier mentioned that mm -hmm. you know, he would like to use this experiences in participating in international events yes. to find out exactly what his passion is and find out what exactly his interests are. Has that been the same with you? I mean, in terms of going through all these different programs and events and conferences, has it helped you in terms of discovering you know, what your passion really is and what kind of career you want to have in the future? Um, yes, of course. Uh, and for me, I think uh, we, we, we have already learned a lot from our school, from our professor. Of course. But when you go abroad to the different uh, uh, different countries and different mm -hmm. activities, you will find out there are so many things that you never understand. Okay. And you can um, learn from others, and also they will encourage you to pursue like the higher goal okay. in your li uh, life. Okay. And uh, we also mentioned earlier that as Taiwan is becoming more globally integrated, mm -hmm that uh, our students also becoming more internationally oriented. Yes. Given the fact that we're now becoming very much integrated you know, all over the world, how would you think that in your opinion will be the necessary qualities or characteristic traits mm -hmm. that you need to have in order to be a successful participant in all these different international conferences, meetings, or events? What would it be? Mm -hmm. Um, I would say to be open-minded, okay. to be flexible, okay. because you go to different countries, there are different cultures, different habits that you will experience, mm -hmm. and you will meet different people. The values, different, the values mm -hmm. are different from yours, okay. so be open-minded, um, um, flexible is very important. Okay. And also one very important thing that I yes. uh, noticed, that w you have to speak out your own thought. All right. Especially for Taiwanese students, because we, we, we know how to listen. But um, in a lot of cases, we kind of keep our thought in mind. Yes. But, but you have to speak up. Speak out as, as long as you think, okay. think, of it, think of it. Just speak up. OK. How about you, Fushun? Uh, for me, I would say you need to be very initiative. For a lot of things, like you can learn. Uh, if you don't good enough, like if you don't good enough in English, you can yes. learn if you are initiative enough. And if you don't know some of the knowledge from the uh, different area, and mm -hmm. you can learn if you are initiative. Mm -hmm. So um, initiative can give us the passion and give us the courage to pursue a lot of things. Okay. So I, I would say this is a uh, very important element for a student to to be successful. Yeah. Yes. Okay, but given the fact that both of you have very good, you know, English. You know, spoken English abilities, how did you acquire such an ability? And would you think that's a necessary prerequisite, for example, in terms of dialoguing with others from around the world mm. uh, in order to you know, uh, success, you know, successfully participate in the event? Would you think language is a, is a, is a concern? Um, I think language is the key okay. element, right. but uh, you don't need to really speak in a very fluent way, right. but you need to very clearly to express what you want to express. That's right. very important for the mm -hmm. communication. Right. Yes. And Warren, you shared the same thoughts? I actually agree very much with Fushin. You okay. don't have to speak fluently. You don't, the words you say don't have to be very difficult, okay. but you have to speak out okay. and clearly express yourself. Other than English, Mm -hmm. uh, does either one of you, I mean, uh, pursue a third language besides English and Chinese? Uh, yes, I have. Okay, which is? Um, I've learned French. Okay. Yes, for... Uh, and that's ongoing process? Yeah, it's ongoing process. I All just right. uh, came back from uh, French for the exchange student program. For one year? Oh, for half a year. Half a year, okay. Yeah, but I actually I benefit a lot from the program to okay. improve my French. Okay. Yes. And how about you, Warren? Um, I didn't really spend much time on that. Oh, I knew okay. a little bit of Japanese, and okay. also recognized very little bit of Swedish. But I think something very unusual about your background is mm -hmm. that you're engineering major, right? right? Yeah. But you've been very active in student affairs, mm -hmm. and that is normally not the case with a lot of <laughs> your peer, uh, your, your, your colleagues mm -hmm. in the department. Yeah. You know, uh, what sets you apart? What, what prompts you to do all these things? Um, 
know, is this personal interest or opportunities. passion? Okay. You have, um, once I get an opportunity to get into okay. a student activities, I found it's, I found Very I have rewarding. so much fun and right. a lot of reward okay. in this conference. So Good. I try to re I try to, you know, arrange my time to, to have time for this. Good. Yeah. And uh, let me ask you, based, you know, based on your experiences in organizing GIS Taiwan, mm -hmm. uh, how would you, as organizers, you know, try to set out and achieve the objectives you want to achieve in terms of holding this international event? Okay. Or, to set up the object, you have to set the vision of the activities. What kind of activity do you want, want it to be? Yes. And also one, one very important thing is you have to define a feature of your of course of mm -hmm. your uh, conference. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, if you ask a foreigner like which Asian country that he want to visit or he okay. or she want to visit, Taiwan is not usually the first choice. No. Mm -hmm. But uh, so we have to set a, define a feature to of attract course. in order to attract them. Okay. And before the conference, we will provide sufficient information and yes to and material uh, to have them start, uh, read it. Also, we use social networking website like Facebook to create group All for right. them to uh, involve with involve in this activity be even before it start. Okay. And last year, we even have a new thought that we open a blog. We share some view some of our view um, regarding the topic we we set, and we have we we have our delegate to come to the website to comment it to discuss with us. Mm -hmm. And during the when um, during the conference, I would say. The most important thing is to, to create the atmosphere of dialogue. Okay. Um, the more dialogue, the more mingling you have yes. with each other, the more you will receive the conference the will be more successful. Yeah. Yes. Anything you wanted to add? Um, I think we already have uh, talked about pretty all much. the principal. Yeah. Yes. And I will talk about an example of this year. Okay. Uh, we have the essay exhibition for all the delegates to share their essays. Okay. And we try to use the way of uh, print a lot of poster for their um, essays. Okay. And when they are browsing through through the posters, and they will uh, uh, very quickly understand like which uh, essay is um, I'm interesting with, and I can talk to the author of these essays. Okay. Yes. All right. Certainly, from their comments, we can see that these young people in Taiwan are now becoming actually not just citizens of the world, but also participants of the future. And we're going to take another, you know, short break on our program. We will come back and we will continue our conversation with, you know, two students from the National Taiwan University, Mr. Warren Xiao and also Ms. Fu Jun, and continue discussions about their experiences in extracurricular international activities. I'll see you in just a few minutes. <laughs>